Okay, so it's been four days since we worked on the rat bucket. Uh, actually snowed, rained, now it's hot again. And then I had to do roof work yesterday, I had some roof contractors over, so there's beating and banging. And it was real loud, so that's done. Thank the Lord, got a new roof. Uh, and we've been waiting on chain tension to come in. So I'm waiting on two two more chain tensioners so I can get that going for the drivetrain. And I welded this together. I'm gonna come back and grind it down a little bit. If you can see real good. I know welding's kind of messed up. Uh, I didn't think about it when I put these sprockets on that bolt. There was nothing for them to grab together. So I had to get a coupler or heim joint whatever you want to call it it's a two inch coupler from a, a four link i uh, had spare parts for for bagging a truck so that worked out perfect it was all all even so and i'm not not going to touch it because it's still hot and i want to do a little smoke session yeah, yeah she's smoking so I'll do the other side So yeah, I'll let that cool down a little bit and I'm gonna grind that, smooth them out a little bit. So I'll put that back on. Then now we're gonna start on the steering. Uh, I had this welded in and I had a sleeve on the steering wheel itself. About how, how far I wanna put it in to go to this part. Oops. It's just pieces of scrap metal I've been using, so it ain't nothing perfect. Uh, I'll clean that up a little bit, weld that. I got a brace coming, kind of got it in an ag uh, angle. So I'm gonna come back and weld all this on both sides. So that'll be for the steering. Then I'm gonna take this, the U-joint deal. I'm gonna cut it in half, just use half of it. That way it'll come down underneath, underneath the engine plate and the frame itself and it'll be going straight to my front my little pitman arm and I gotta make tie rod in because uh I have these I'm just gonna use the ends the ends of these right here because these are too short ain't no way in heck gonna work that's just gonna leave another 10 inch gap so I'm just gonna make some coming up from my pitman arm I get that out the way but I'm gonna use these I'm gonna uh, let's see I got some bolts somewhere and this little piece of metal rod bring the metal rod to the front and I gotta clean up back here. Yeah. Want the good old tractor supply. This is right down the road. Yeah, I got some bolts. What I'm going to do is I'm get it out. Just gonna well put the nut back in there. All right, what I'm going to do is weld this nut, or this bolt, onto here, this rod, and then take one of these and get it off for you. Come on, get off, get off, get off, get off. All right. And screw that in there. So that'll be for my tie rod in. I'm going to do the same thing. Not going to use the whole, just one piece like this. This is just keep it in line. Uh, I'm actually just going to do that. Use the other part over here with a bolt as well. I didn't have them both going to my pitman arm. So I uh, will now put this in time lapse to try to get most of this done. We have that joint all welded up. I'll come back, clean up a little bit. Uh, 
So now we're gonna put it in. So I put the rod and stuff on the steering shaft itself. It's just sitting there temporary. I think I got it where I want it. Now I'm gonna go mark access off of the shaft right here. What I don't need. I want to come out past the frame itself to the tie rod end. So, I'm just going to say somewhere around there. Cut that off. Do that right now. Get some new ones because I don't think they're the right size because they will not really go on there at all. Yeah, so I don't know if I'll be able to use these unless I can beat them on. Try that. Okay, it's still kind of hot where I welded and burnt my finger. Uh, so I had to come through. These bearings wouldn't slide on, so I had to come through with a grinder, grind it down a little bit, and come back with a flapper wheel to, uh, you see, smooth it out. That way, it will slide on good. So that is a plus. So now we're going to put this back underneath there. And uh, bolt it down. I got to pick that up because I got to figure out how where I'm gonna attach them to the bottom so I probably it'll probably be kind of like this as it sits you know, this one be right here in the front and this one further in the back for st stability for that for that joint use this old what we got <laughs> got it all up in there so this is what we're gonna do is use that put that back under there I need my marker I'm gonna put this back up under there Let's see cut off a little piece of my sleeve because uh I cut that too short so now we should be able to put 
be at a right angle. I need to put this joint on. It should go on. Collars. Now I'm trying to line this up. Apparently I can only use one of them colors. The way I got it in a bind down at the rear or the end. So if you can see I'm gonna use some self-tapping screws just to hold it on. I will come back later, put some bolts in. I need my tape measure. I'm a tape measure. We'll kind of get it in the center. Fifteen sixteenths, dead center. Uh, I take off a inch. Take off a inch. Boom! Five and seven eight. So that would be my center there. This is right.
Now again, these ain't the bolts I'm wanting to use. These are here just temporary to hold everything in place, try it out. I will come back with stronger bolts. I know that'll snap off. But these will work for now. That there is beautiful. Now I gotta tighten that knuckle down. To. I'm gonna come back and grind this down. Give me a flat spot so I can put that bolt through. see my flat spot I got just so that bolt can slide through tighten it up should have did that in the first place
Uh, I'll probably have to come back and wield that. So that might not be coming out. But we will see. Yep, I'm gonna have to wield that. Oh, sorry. Put the tag on. I take this back off of that. Kind of line up my steering wheel. I'm gonna take this off the uh, that chair. Pitman on. I'm about to weld this on my pit pitman on. So that took a little more time than what I wanted to. I got my pitman arm stuff welded on. The front side, I should have did it on the back side as well. But uh, we got it pretty, pretty straight. So I'm gonna do one in the front and one on the back whenever I build them tie rods. So I got the steering all done. Let's see, I gotta flip it over and weld this on the bottom side on both sides clean up that little sleeve I got for the steering now I had to weld that on there so I'm gonna clean it up too because uh yeah the shaft kept sliding off the steering column piece so and I can only get one of them one of these under there only in the front I couldn't get it in the back because the way it's in the angle but um, I could probably always come back and figure something else out. Let's see how that rides. Now, it ain't going to be fast or nothing, so it's just going to be a cruiser. I ain't trying to sling no chains off or break something. So, yeah, because it's, it's right there. Almost touching. So, up there was a tight fit anyways. Going all the way through to the front to that collar right there so now we're going to do the interesting part and getting tie rod ends on and then after that steering to be done i'll just be waiting on some more t 
tensioners for the chains. I gotta grind that, get it all cleaned up, put it back on, get some tensioners on, and then we can do brakes. Uh, this is how far we got. So yeah, just making tie rod right ends, just a piece of uh, metal bar, uh, some bolts, I weld it on each end, clean these up real good, and screw on these ends. So, the tie rods, and hook them up right here to the steering. And that'll be it for that. But yeah, that's all the time we got for today. Uh, we'll just catch you back up on it tomorrow. Right where we left off. I'm just going to do a little cleaning. So, see y'all tomorrow. Okay guys, before we wrap this video up, uh, I just want to show you everything we did in the time lapse to get it to the stage where it's at now. And the dogs will assist too. So, y'all want to ride, I see. Uh, all right, steering is completed. So, went ahead and got it welded up there. Made a brace down right there. Come down to that, that joint. And I got it going under. I got a little sleeve welded under there, going to the front, to the collar right there itself, bearing. And I went ahead and put two pitman arms on here to make it stronger. And it actually steers a lot better. Got that in place. Now I had to make these again. Uh, I didn't realize, but these little tie rod ends, one of them on each is uh, left-handed threads or backwards threaded where you want to uh, call it so i couldn't use the other ones i did so i went ahead and just made some new ones got them on there so that's all good i got still got to work out the caster and all that and make sure everything's even and straight or the tie rods and stuff uh see so you got everything tightened up Went ahead and put these on just for now. Coming to chain assembly. Okay, we got it going right here to the jack shaft. Got the jack shaft in. Got it coming here, going to the back. Right here, I just put in a little Aller pulley or something, or whatever you want to call it, just to keep it straight. This one I made off of that. Now, with a spring, I'm going to come back and do some more bracing and do a different spring but that's for this to pivot back and forth that way it still gives some slack and not too tight Let's see and then we come into the spot here where it turns over got all that in the bolt wasn't long enough so i had to put a little carter key in there a carter pin uh you know because it stuck out a little bit 
and got that done that's going back here to the last sprocket uh put a little pull a tensioner right here just to keep it on on course and stable so that is it for the steering i still gotta work out a few tweaks next episode we're gonna work on the brakes and stuff do the brakes and stuff and then get everything on here welded that i need to get welded on some more you know bracing and stuff and i'll come back strip it down we're gonna paint it and uh yes i am i am doing stuff to the motor yeah that's that hard to breathe but i'm gonna figure out some exhaust i'm gonna do a different gas tank and i got a stage one kit for it so i'm gonna do a few little things to it just to get it going and we move on a ride so we can go riding in it now other than that um put the seat in there it's just sitting in there right now so i'm gonna use a tractor seat in there just give it a better look well mount me my ammo box back here uh either my ammo box or i'm gonna put the gas tank back here I haven't decided yet because i'm gonna do away with this gas tank i'm gonna do a fuel pump and a little top plate for it and all that so i'll probably figure something out the gas tank or i'm just may mount it get me a small one like a gaster and put it up front kind of like i got on my power wagon so we'll do that and that should wrap this thing up just a few more little decorations to put on it and should wrap it up for this build then we can start on the next one or go back and work on the fire engine uh we did try to drive it i'm still it won't go so i gotta figure that out it is a brand new motor still trying to break it in let it run a little while so we get that going got the guard dogs they love this stuff they live for this soon i might have to make them a side card or something let them ride in too um oh yeah i'll show you my throttle got my throttle linkage coming through coming here just a bicycle brake handle uh, i like using these i like the style of them so we went with that you can see a little better out the way and no i didn't want to cut this so i kind of like this look i could probably do it to my other one i'll build another one and we'll come up with something crazy with it i mean you still sit in it you still feel a little comfortable with your feet just sitting right there on the ends so then we're going to throttle then brake handle over here and have something something tall you know because like in my trucks like in big tall shifters and we'll figure out some more stuff so yeah that would be it for this episode on the rat bucket bill so if you like what you see continue to uh keep following this bill and give me the thumbs up um but yeah we, we're gonna make some crazy stuff so to all my viewers out there if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe so we can get this going try to make it make sure i want to do this full time really the way i ain't got to work no more <laughs> but uh man that thing looks killer so yeah but yeah go ahead and give me the thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you haven't to david e fav and thank y'all for watching this episode and be sure to stay tuned on the next one uh we've got a lot more stuff to do this and we'll see y'all later thank y'all god bless